power here and say, okay, identify the tissue indicated by the pointer. The tissue indicated by the pointer is ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelial tissue. <clears throat> okay? Um, identify the tissue indicated by the pointer. The tissue is hyaline cartilage. Identify the layer indicated by the pointer. The layer is perichondrium. Identify the tissue indicated by the pointer. The tissue is dense white fibrous connective tissue irregularly arranged. Okay. Identify the tissue indicated by the pointer. The tissue is adipose. Where do we find it? Everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Uh, identify the structure occupied by the pointer. The structure is a vein. A vein. What, Barb? Can, uh, would you lighten that up a whole bunch? Because when it comes up on the uh, videotapes, it's really dark. Did anybody else have that problem? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so like here? Really, really dark on the yeah. Video. yeah, I couldn't get it very light on my computer. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, uh, so I identify the structure occupied by the arrow, it is a vein. vein. Identify the tissue occupied by the arrow, it is blood. blood. Identify the uh, dark material tissue indicated by the pointer. I hear it, lymphoid tissue, yes. Okay, lymphoid nodule right there, very good. Okay. Um, Identify the tissue indicated by the pointer. The tissue is? Smooth muscle. Smooth muscle. Very good. Okay, great. Identify the layer indicated by the pointer. The layer is? Lamina propria. Very good. Identify the secreted layer at the tip of the pointer. The secreted non-cellular layer is? Basement membrane. Okay. Uh, ooh, identify the structure indicated by the pointer and who the lumen the pointer ends. The structure is an artery. artery. Okay. Identify the tissue occupied by the pointer. The tissue is skeletal, skeletal muscle. muscle. That's good because you can't even see the details on here. You can see the details, right? You guys are doing good. Okay. Identify the tissue indicated by the pointer. The tissue is non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelial tissue. Okay, now, you know, uh, I've been going through here, boom, 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 boom. I've asked how many questions so far? <laughs> Caroline's counting them up. About 15. How many questions did, that I just asked out of those 15 were new and or about the respiratory system? None. Not a one. Okay, this is all standard stuff that we already know, isn't it? I just realized that when I was doing a review yesterday, and I got to look at this. I said, "Okay, well, what are the respiratory questions? Identify the structure occupied by the arrow. The structure is a cartilage ring or a tracheal ring. Yes. Okay." Um, Identify the structure indicated by the arrow. The structure is the trachealis muscle. Yes. Oh, identify the stuff indicated by the tail of the arrow. <laughs> Snot. Very good, Kathy. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. See, here's your. Okay, identify the organelles indicated by the arrow. Cilia, yes, see, and here's this stuff on top of the cilia, look at it. White cells, mucus, that, that even looks like some red cells there. This must have bled in there when they did the, the, the section. Okay, but white cells, mucus, the debris. <coughs> yeah, that's it, Kathy. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but, but that's uh, snot, okay? And, and I make a deal about this because we had an incident a couple years ago with a young person in the nursing program who uh, did not know any of the slang terms for any of the bodily parts or functions. Was excellent at A&P, 
knew all of the anatomy and physiology and scientific terminology, but got in trouble because of inability to communicate with patients and didn't know any of the common street terms. It's like, you know, she had to be sent out for a, a, a semester in the ghetto or something uh, <laughs> to, to learn some jargon. And so I'll play with some of these words now and, and as we get into some of the other systems. So don't be shocked, okay? Identify the membrane occupied by the arrow, a non-respiratory uh, question. No, that, that's the little non secretum. We did the basement membrane. Big time important, simple, straightforward. The tail's in one layer, the head's in another layer. Mucous membrane, yes. Thank you, Daniela. Okay, a mucous membrane. Okay, why is it a mucous membrane? Where is this arrow located right now? In the lumen. Wonderful, oh boy. Where is this arrow located? In the what? It's in the trachea. It's in the tracheal lumen. So where is this arrow located? There I hear it. The topological exterior of the body. This is an opening to the outside of the body. That's why this is a mucous membrane because it's lining a cavity that opens to the outside of the body. Okay? <clears throat> Now, I said, uh, when we were looking at this earlier, we went, okay, identify these structures. These are what? Veins. Veins. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what is the function of these veins? The function is? To warm and moisten the air. Okay. Capillaries do nourishment and stuff, don't they? But these are all laying here. Look at all this blood right under the surface of the trachea, right under the mucous membrane, down here in this submucosa layer, there are just many, many large veins, lots of blood, look at that, flowing around under there, uh, to warm and moisten that air, to temper it, so that when it gets into the uh, alveoli, it's not going to damage them in some way, okay? And when I was looking at the slide, going over it, perusing, oh, what's that? Nerve, good answer, good, good, okay. And what's that? It, I think it's a lymph node. I think it's beyond just a lymphoid nodule. That is good lymphatic tissue. I mean, look at that, that's lymphoid tissue, big time. But it's got a capsule around it. It's a very distinct structure here in this massive adipose tissue next to the trachea. And I, I would think it's a lymph node. Okay, just a, one of those serendipitous things that we find. Okay, I'm going to pop back to low power and just kind of look around and see. Uh, could you guess what that is? An artery, a branching artery. Very good. Okay, there's all your muscle around the what organ? Esophagus. esophagus. Now, if this is the esophagus, what portion of the trachea is this? Where, where, where is the esophagus located on the trachea? So where is the trachea? What? Posterior. Posterior, yeah, or dorsal part of the trachea. And that's where this trachealis muscle is. Okay? And that's kind of important because on a true sagittal section, think about this, we would be here, trachealis muscle, on the posterior, and if we cut sagittally, we'd come across and run into the, to the cartilaginous rings on the anterior, wouldn't we? Okay. So when we go to a longitudinal cut, see, and I'm telling you, I'm giving you that much information that, that this is a longitudinal cut, okay? And I, I, I look on this side, okay, and I see cartilaginous rings, and I go across the lumen, and I get cartilaginous rings, and what's this structure? The esophagus. Therefore, what kind of section is this? Okay, this is the posterior side, this is the anterior side, and I've told you it's a, it's a longitudinal section. Now characterize the longitudinal section. Okay, it's sagittal. 
So now we have to question, is it mid-sagittal or parasagittal? Well, 